According to the latest estimates of Goldman Sachs, the Eurozone may escape recession in 2023. It has increased the outlook to a growth of 0.6% in 2023 compared to a recession, a negative growth of 0.1% in the previous estimate. What is the driver? Fundamentally, the reopening of China and lower commodity prices helping reduce the burden of energy prices within the Eurozone. However, we must take into account these estimates because they're also saying a few things. There are a number of things that uh, make it less rosy than what it looks. First, it all depends, again, on energy prices. However, citizens in the Eurozone are not going to see lower energy prices because of the change in commodities. Why? Because the increase in taxes and the increase in the CO2 price that is added, which is an, a hidden tax in itself, all of those things make the tariff that consumers pay elevated and rising even in 2023, certainly for electricity, very probably for natural gas, and it's likely to do a lot in terms of real disposable income. Why? Because in the Eurozone, real wage growth is hugely negative. Whilst in the United States, real wage growth is negative because uh, the increase in wage growth does not offset the rise in inflation, in the euro area, that is already a big, a big problem. So, we have to take into account a few things. There is a GDP effect of very high government spending. There is certainly a GDP effect of the new gener of the uh, of the EU next generation funds that are going to be added to GDP, but don't generate a subsequent increase in GDP afterwards. And certainly the impact of energy. All of those things matter. However. What is the real problem of the euro area? The big problem of the euro area is that it was already in stagnation prior to the COVID-19 crisis. The German economy was close to zero growth in the fourth quarter of 2019. The French-Italian economies were already close to recession as well. So the real problem of these new estimates is that they are the confirmation of stagflation, elevated inflation, and low growth.